Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kylie if you're new here, and today we're gonna work on a bunch of different stuff. I got a lot to do, like always. Um, it is like 12.30 right now. I was running errands this morning. I had to go register my now husband, because we got married, um, my husband's new truck. So I had to go pay that expensive ass bill and go do that, and then I got Subway back home. I've been doing stuff around the house. Um, my house is actually really clean. For once uh, but we are actually going to be working on the outside of my house and in my garage we want to get some yard work done um, and then my garage we've slowly been working on because after the wedding because we're not married I'm, I'm a now a wifey guys I'm a wife okay after the wedding we threw everything in the garage like the wedding stuff and I've been slowly washing everything and sorting and going through everything because everything just got picked up and shoved in the garage the day of the wedding um so i would like to work on wedding stuff like i'm getting to the end of the sorting and i'm getting to the end of washing everything and organizing stuff because and i've sold a couple things but the rest of the wedding stuff is going to be posted i'm going to try to sell some stuff and i'm just organizing so i want to work on the garage a little bit finish up some wedding stuff um i have our riding lawnmower which I'm gonna be using. I've only used it a couple times because I had Tori teach me how to use it because he is a railroader and sometimes it's nice to work on outside like the yard stuff and not the inside of my house all the time. And I thought it'd be really fun now that I have a house and a yard to actually film that for you guys. So um, my we do have a weed, like a weed whacker, weed eater thing, which I know how to use. But the battery's dead and I have no idea where Tori put the charger. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do that. So you know, it is what it is. And then um, you're gonna see more of our house and our yard. I'm, I'm gonna see what how far I get, okay? Before we get started on a bunch of outside stuff, I need a coffee. Um, I haven't actually had any coffee today even though it's 12.30. And I'm gonna have to put on a bunch of sunscreen. So we're gonna do that. If you guys saw my last video, you saw that Javi had sent me their product to try. Well, they reached out to me again and asked me if I wanted to try some more. And I said, yeah. So they ended up sending me their French vanilla coffee concentrate. And I'm really excited to try it because if you watched my last video, I said I wanted to try some of the other flavors. So we're gonna give it a go, see how it tastes. Um, last time it just tastes like black coffee and like um, milk. So I added flavoring. So I'm really curious to see if this is sweet enough for me. I do like sweeter drinks, so if not, I'm gonna add some more sweetness. But no big deal either way. So we're gonna make our coffee and give it a taste. And like the last video, I will leave everything in the description box down below. And I will leave that um, discount code for you guys. Save yourself some cash if you want. Yeah. About Javi is a concentrate that you can mix to whatever liquid you want whether that's milk, water, um, almond milk, coconut milk, a protein shake, whatever liquid you like, is one to two teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons, um, of the concentrate per six to eight ounces of whatever liquid you prefer. We're gonna mix this up and try it, and it's the vanilla one, so I'm really curious to how much flavor or sweetness it has on its own, or if I want to add some sweetness but we're gonna give it a go and then we are gonna get busy and I'm gonna stop rambling okay but I once again will put that discount code right here for you guys save yourself some money and I will have all of their information linked down below in the description box as well so um and thank you Javi for sending me your products again is still not sweet enough for me I also I don't taste the vanilla not really I mean you get like a hint of it but it's not that's not the vibe guys okay I had two pumps of this vanilla chai just like last time 
maybe it's just because it's like plain like there's no there's no calories there's no sugar there's one carb in a serving so it really is like natural with no sweetness or anything added so it might just be me that's way better way better yeah that's more my vibe I guess I just like sweet coffee well Okay guys, well that is my coffee with the Javi. My opinion with Javi, since this is the second one that I've tried. The concept's really cool. I do really like it. It's great on the go. I did finish the other bottle actually. I loved it. The vanilla flavor, it it's made with natural flavors. So it's gonna be natural vanilla. There's no sugar, no sweetness, nothing added to it. Um, it just wasn't that strong for me. It tastes like really good coffee. It has a really nice flavor and aroma on its own. This does have caffeine in it. Like it packs a punch. In my opinion, it's not very sweet. Like it's, well, it doesn't have any sugar, so it's not sweet at all. So in my opinion, I like sweeter coffees. I like fruit fruit drinks. I'm a sweet girl. And so I just need to add flavoring. If you guys like concentrates or cold brew, um, or quick and easy things, this is definitely gonna be your vibe. If you guys are interested and you want to support me, please use my code. It just helps me back and then it lets the, it like gives me more opportunities. Um, but don't feel pressured. If you don't wanna try it, don't try it. It's just like, if you're gonna use it, use a, a code, whether it's mine or another YouTubers or somebody else you follow, it helps you support that person, plus it saves you money. So it's like a win-win situation, you know? So um, if you guys do try it, please let me know if you like it and if you like me showing you guys these products. Um, I've had companies try to send me jewelry. Um, I've had companies try to send me beauty products. That's just like not my vibe necessarily. So if I'm not into it, I'm not gonna show it to you guys, if that makes sense. And I am not paid to do this. This is not sponsored by them. They just sent it to me and asked me to share it. That's it. I was just sent a product, I was not paid. I'm gonna stop blabbing because we are gonna get to work. So we are currently on my back porch, which is next to our driveways. And this is actually the door to the kitchen. This is like how we come into the house, but it's not technically the front door. Um, I'm gonna douse myself in sunscreen, so.
it's about two days later since I last filmed me mowing the yard. Um, in the middle of me filming mowing the yard, my Aunt Michelle came over to actually use my lawnmower. <laughs> and she helped me get into the very backyard, which is our dog's area. And we got that all mowed and I found the charger, the weed whacker. So I was able to charge the weed whacker. I haven't done yard work since because it flooded the next day, like poured flood. We actually had water in our basement, which is all fine. Like it's all fine now. We have a drain system down there. So it's just kind of a muddy mess. So I haven't done any yard work since then. And I didn't want to end the video with just me mowing part of my yard and that be the whole video. <laughs> so, um, I thought I'd show you guys some stuff that I've recently purchased um, the past couple days. And um, I had more, but I used some things, I put some stuff up, it all got mixed up. And I was gonna film a TikTok, which you guys should go follow my TikTok account. Um, I'll tag it down below and my Instagram. They're all Dear Kylie. But um, I was gonna film a TikTok with showing the haul and I was like, you know what? I haven't filmed a haul video for YouTube in forever. And I wanna start filming shopping hauls because I love watching shopping hauls. I think they're fun. So I thought I'd share it with you guys as part of this video. So um, I'm trying not to be super loud because Tori's upstairs sleeping. So we're in my dining room. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, let me show you. This is my dining room. Just a little buffet, a little side thing, a little hutch thing. And my living room, which we brought up our old couch from the basement. Um, looks real cute. We repainted the bathroom last week. And I'm going to have to clean the bathroom and I'll have to show you guys. And I still need to paint like the trim. You know what I mean? But I painted the ceiling, I painted the walls around the tub like... It looks a lot better. So I'm going for more of a brown tan in the bathroom just because we have so much gray throughout the house. So I just wanted to change it up because I didn't want to paint it gray and I didn't like the blue we painted because it was too freaking bright for a small area. Um, so I'm kind of going more those colors and it looks really nice. But with going those colors, um, I wanted to just get some decorations for the bathroom because I'm slowly wanting to do like one room at a time. Just making things look and feel nicer, you know? So, um, for the bathroom, I got this cute sign. Now, this stuff is from Amazon. Um, and I'm gonna hang this above our toilet. Like, it, it's just like a little wall and then our toilet. We used to have like a little shelf thing, but it didn't fit very well there. This above our toilet. I think it's gonna look a lot nicer there. I got a new shower liner. And then I got this really cute shower curtain off him of the shower curtain it is so cute i'll try to link it down below and then i got um some black like just shower curtain hooks because the ones we have right now are silver but all of our accents like hardware in the bathroom is black so i wanted black ones so and then it's just a basic shower curtain like it's it's really nothing fancy but i wanted something more neutral you know what i mean i got this cute Set. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It comes with labels. I don't know if I'm honestly going to use the labels. I am not super into labeling things as much as I used to be. But um, it comes with this little like rack and you can put these in it if you want to. I might or I might just put some hand towels in there. Um, some like wash rags. But it comes with two of these and... I don't know if I want to keep the twine on it or not, or if I'm going to cut it off, but it comes with two of these. I'm going to use them for cotton rounds and um, Q-tips, I think, be cute. Then it comes with this for bar soap. We don't use a lot of bar soap. Um, I've tried some homemade soaps like during the summer when I go to the farmer's market, I'll get homemade soap. But for the most part, I'm a liquid hand soap girly, but this just was in the set. But I did think about like when I go to the farmer's market during the summer, that this would be nice, you know? But um, it just came with it. 
it has like a little strainer too. So yeah, that came with it. Then it came with this for your toothbrushes and then this for hand soap. But um, I use foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. So I might use this um, for, I was thinking, um, mouthwash gosh I cannot think today so I was thinking about it for mouthwash even if I just use a couple of them and not the whole set that's totally fine this set was like $20 it was like $19 which is crazy because it's like really nice it's so cute um so that's what I got for the bathroom so far just some decorations I'm still keeping like almost everything that I had previously I'm just refreshing it if that makes sense then um i went shopping uh i always <laughs> want to say where i was but i don't want to say where i was you know what i mean um i live in a smaller town and so when i go into town into the city it's like an hour and a half away out and browse um i went to ulta and got a lot of stuff i spent way too much money um, and it was like literally like hygiene products. <laughs> um, but I went to TJ Maxx and I went to Ulta. So from TJ Maxx, I got these face razors. They were on clearance for like $3. I haven't used a lot of these, but um, I wanted to try them. I got regular razors for six dollars and this is an eight pack of triple blade so i thought that was a decent price for six bucks then for four dollars i got an eight pair of the under eye things um i haven't really used so i got one of these feet things and it's big and it was on clearance for three dollars too um go along with the taking care of myself then I got these and these were on clearance too or they were like really cheap they're only a couple bucks but it's a three pack of these mesh travel bags so there's one little one this pink size one is the medium one and they all have handles too. And then there is a big one that, you know, so it's a three piece set. How stinking cute is that? So I'm gonna put these in my luggage. Um, Cause I was using those sheen bags, you know, for all my clothes, like I put my outfits together. Um, and I loved it, but I needed something a little more durable because they rip pretty easy and I still can use those sheen bags to separate my outfits but pack all my outfits in the separate bags it just makes packing way more easier but I've been looking at ordering these on Timu and I just didn't find any that I liked and I thought these were really cute and they were like uh, under five dollars like they were pretty cheap and I was like those are adorable they all go great with my pink luggage love that so I got that from TJ Maxx. I also, I got Tori, let me show you. I was um, getting ready to go to checkout and I saw this and it just made me think of him. And um, for the wedding, we built a bar out of pallet wood and it's gonna go in the garage, so, like it's in the garage. His brother is using it for his wedding in a couple months. But we made our own bar out of pallet wood and we got lights and a garage fridge, like a beer fridge, like we're decking out the whole, like part of the garage. We have a big garage, so. Um, I found this. This looks just like a Bud Light bottle, right? It is not a Bud Light bottle. Power on, Budweiser. Bluetooth pairing mode. Your speaker is ready to pair. It's a Bluetooth speaker. And his brother was over because we had our family cook off this weekend. Power on. And he used it when I was cooking, and it works pretty good. So we're going to put this in the garage. 
but I just thought it was really cute. It was like 20 bucks. Now from Ulta. I had already opened some of this stuff and got into it this weekend. And I was, I had it all on dining table and I was gonna film for you guys a haul. But I had a bunch of family come over this weekend and I don't like filming around family because not everybody wants to be on camera or wants to be on the internet. And so I choose not to film around a lot of family. So that's why half of my videos are kind of slow or kind of patchy sometimes. Like I don't post as much content as I would like because I don't film as often because we have family over all the time. I'm a big family person and I get interrupted a lot. <laughs> so that's part of the reason why my content comes out kind of slow. But I had already gotten into this stuff because I wanted to use it this weekend. And um, so I hadn't shown you yet. But I got one of those eyelash extension kits. And then I got a kit with the glue and, and the tweezer things. And then eyelashes. And I tried twice this weekend to put them on. And I got them on and it was fine. But at, towards the end of the night, they start bothering my eyes. I just need to practice more um, doing them. But I got the Kiss brand from Ulta because it's a cheaper brand and I just wanted to play with it. And I wanna practice more and see if I can comfortably wear them, even if it's for a week. Like I know a lot of people wear them two weeks. Even if I could just wear them weekly, that would be great because when I did hair years ago before I met Tori, I used to get eyelash extensions all the time. I absolutely love them. I'm a ginger. They make me look so pretty and feminine and they do more than mascara can do for me. And I'm not a strip lash girl. I just struggle too much with them. So I really wanted to start wearing these. So I've tried to put on the set twice, but they don't last me more than a day because I ripped them all off. Or I don't get them on well enough and so then they kind of half of them kind of start falling off so I just need to practice but I did get those and I did get into it to go along with those I got the Neutrogena oil free makeup eye makeup remover and this stuff is not my favorite to be honest I prefer the micellar water that's what I use but I got this for to take the eyelashes off because I saw on TikTok that an oil-free makeup remover would work. I don't feel like this helped at all getting the glue off. If you guys have recommendations for what type of like eyelash glue to use for your own extensions or type of eyelashes or type to remove them, let me know. But this was my first try. So I did buy this to go with it. Um, it's fine. It's not my favorite. Then Ulta had a sale. That's why that's that's what gets me is when they have a sale. I spend big money. Um, they had the Bylaw shampoo conditioner. This is my favorite one. It's a Hydra Hydra Source. This is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. And um, I don't like spending forty dollars on one bottle because they're like thirty eight dollars normally. But I got them on sale for twenty four dollars each. Um, so I bought the big ones because that's really cheap. They had a sale on Tree Hut products. It was like 20% off. So I got the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shave Oil because I really wanted to try it. I used it and I liked the way it made my legs feel after. I don't know if it made a huge difference using regular body wash or regular gel soap versus the shaving oil. But I really liked it, I'm gonna keep trying it. I really enjoyed using it and it smelled great. And um, I think this was like $10 at Ulta, but I had 20% off, so I mean, yeah. I liked it. I only used it once though, so I don't know if using something one time is a great chance to like actually give it a try. I also got the Tree Hut Hydrating Sugar Face Scrub. It's watermelon. Cactus Water Aha. <laughs> the name is hilarious to me. This stuff smells fabulous. It smells so freaking good. I love it. 
It's not extremely sweet, sugary watermelon. I think it's because the cactus with it. It's just like really sweet, but refreshing. And it's like such a good scent. It's a face scrub though. My skin doesn't like face scrubs. So I've never done well, especially scented face scrubs. But I really wanted to try it. It smells really good. I like it. I just don't know if my face likes it. This scent though would be amazing in a body scrub. I know they have their watermelon, but I don't know if they have their watermelon cactus in the body scrub. I got a Tree Hut sugar like lip scrub. I haven't used it yet. I wanna get those lip, the silicone like lip things, you know? But, but I did get one and then I got a vanilla body scrub, which I've used their body, different body scrubs. I love them. I think they're really good. I got a vanilla one to go with the shave oil. Right now I have a uh, cocoa colada or something in my shower. And then before that I have water. Usually I buy one at a time. I use it all and then I buy a new one. But sometimes you get bored of the scents. So I know some people will have like 50. I can't be one of those people. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a collector like that. I also don't like when things get gross and I like to use stuff and keep it in my shower as I'm using it, you know? But I figured I could have a couple on hand and rotate my scents when they bore me. Um, I went there for my CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. I was out. I got another one. I think this was like a dollar off. Maybe not, I don't know. But the foaming one is my favorite. Their hydrating one doesn't do shit for me. It doesn't lather up enough. I don't like it. The foaming one is honestly the only face wash that they have that I like. And then I use their uh, moisturizers. But yeah, so got a big bottle. I was out, literally threw my bottle away the day I bought this. Then I have seen this mouthwash everywhere all over YouTube, all over Instagram, all over TikTok. I've literally had it thrown in my face. And so I was like, you know what, what the heck? I'll see what the hype's about. So I bought one and I got this one. It's for cavities and it's supposed to help strengthen your teeth, which it says it helps rebuild weakened tooth enamel and reverse early tooth decay. No alcohol, no artificial flavors or colors. Sparkly mint. It is minty. It reminds me of Rumplemints. If you guys know what Rumplemints, you freaking know what I'm talking about. That's my honey's favorite. Definitely gives me that minty fresh vibe. Smells the same. Um, I've only used it one, like twice, but I'm gonna give this a go and see if it helps. I get really bad cavities and I'm absolutely terrified of the dentist. I haven't gone in a long time and I need to, but I'm absolutely terrified of the dentist. I'll have a panic attack and ball and somebody has to drive me because they have to drug me up because I cannot even walk in there without wanting to pass out. Like I am, horrified of the dentist. So if this helps prevent how often I have to go in, I'll, I'll do it. So, but yeah, I'm sure there was a couple other things that I bought. I honestly don't remember. I thought it would be fun to share some of that stuff with you guys. So you can see kind of the things that I buy. Um, if you like me, including little shopping hauls, or kind of just talking to you, how I did in this video, it was very casual talk, hang out with me. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really like your input. Sometimes I over edit my videos, so we don't really, you don't get the part of me talking because I feel like I ramble. <laughs> like I go on and on and on and on. Um, my therapist told me I have ADHD, so you know, ADHD brain, but I feel like I ramble and I go down these rabbit holes and I'll have 20 million different conversations with you guys. So I delete a lot out half the time when I do videos where I'm standing in front of the camera or like my introductions. That's why in some of my cleaning videos in the past, I just do a voiceover and I don't actually sit in front of the camera and talk because I will go on and on and on and on. So I'm gonna try not to over edit this for you guys, I know I'm, I'm gonna edit obviously some of it, but I'm gonna try not to edit too much out. And you guys let me know if you like the longer videos with me just talking to you, letting you know how things are going and telling you what's going on. 
But um, if you enjoy these type of videos, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, like, follow, share, subscribe, all those good things. Um, say hi in the comments. I read every single one of my comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.